I'm sorry if I interrupted a rehearsal, but let me assure you, I don't want my own work to delay your production from reaching the home on Broadway it genuinely deserves. I happen to see Robin Hood in previews, and may I say that, with the exception of the deceased Miss Cranshaw, you're all just such wonderful performers. And what a great score. Oh, well, I appreciate that, Lieutenant. On behalf of my half of that compliment, thanks as well. You're more than welcome. I've, uh, well, I've done a little community theater myself. <laughs> oh, oh, no, nothing that fancy. Although my Billy Bigelow at the Brookline Barn House got a favorable review, and in A Midsummer Night's Dream, my bottom was very well received. Wait one moment. You say you're from Homicide? Ah, uh, well, yes. Based on a preliminary autopsy, it's clear that Jessica Cranshaw was murdered. And what are they doing with her killer? I mean, does he get some sort of trophy or Pontiac convertible? Chris! Sorry. Pure reflex. What? What happened? Uh, she was killed by hydrocyanic acid, commonly used in electroplating, as well as the gas chambers at San Quentin. It was in capsule form, which is why no one realized she'd been poisoned, until after the capsules dissolved in her stomach, starting a chemical reaction which created her own personal gas chamber internally. Horrible. Now, working backwards from when the capsules dissolved, we know she swallowed them in the very final moments of this evening's performance. Well, then couldn't she have poisoned herself? Uh, trauma at the back of the throat suggests she didn't take the capsules uh, voluntarily. Now, may I ask, who is in charge here other than myself? Permit me, Lieutenant. I am the critically acclaimed director, Christopher Belling, and I will be blocking your investigation. I uh, hope that's not the case, but if you need to wrap things up with your cast, please go right ahead. <clears throat> Company! I know you'll give Georgia your full support as she steps into the shoes of the late Miss Crenshaw. Oh my god, that's brilliant! As one would expect from me. Uh, all those ready to press forward with Rob Hood and Georgia, give me a show of hands. That's it? Listen, people, life is full of setbacks and disappointments as my husband first demonstrated in the bridal suite at the Hotel Taft. <laughs> but with Georgia taking over the lead, we've got ourselves a real shot! This show is going on! What do you say, gang? You know, if we leave now, we can make that last train in New York. Stop! It's clear that every one of you is in perfect physical condition. So the show must go on. Why? Because, as old as time itself, there's a grand theatrical tradition that the show must go on. Forget it. I've got a contract. You signed a contract. Go read your contract. And I will count to ten, and then I'll sue you. Oh, yes, I'll sue you. And when I sue you, you'll never work again. Who is the equity representative? I am Mrs. Bernstein. As equity deputy, I must warn you, any further threats and you'll be brought up on charges. Oh, shut up, Elaine. The name is Bambi, mother. All right, let's put it this way. For the backer's sake, I'm asking your permission to let the show go on. No. The show must go on. Not a chance. The show must go on Why? cuz i say the show must go on horses i can't believe i'm hearing this i won't believe it why putting on a musical has got to be the most fulfilling thing a person could ever hope to do you people you're all heroes to me you're a special kind of people known as show people. You live in a world of your own. The audience paid plenty to sit there and clap. Hearing you sing, watching you tap. Did you know your dentist longs to be in show business? Your window washer wants to be a star. And though your analysts may never couch it that way, analysts couch! <laughs> you 
don't know how lucky you are. Some policemen and detectives dream of show business. They can't get arrested, but still, they sit around the station and fancy this life. They jeer Sherlock Holmes and cheer Mac the Knife. <laughs> Ask your cleaning lady, don't you dream of show business to vocalize the stretch beside a bar. Her affirmative shrug as she shampoos your rug lets you know how lucky you are. There's a special kind of aura around a show person. Just ask the next waiter you meet. In fifth position, his voice is just grand. He gives you the check, you give him the hand. If the boys in valet parking turn to show business, they could scout the higher ticket for your car. Surgeon, started taking a bow, a bow. B O U G O G O. You know how lucky you But that hop in our hearts when the adventure starts helps us know how lucky we are.